How's it going, everybody? It is November 24th. This is going to be a quick Merch by Amazon sales update. I'll talk about my U.S. sales. I'll show you guys my total sales. Uh, but before I start, there I've been getting a whole bunch of emails from different uh, companies, different platforms about their uh, holiday promotions. This is a good one. I, I've decided because I usually don't show this kind of stuff or push it, but when it's when it's something that's actually useful to you guys that I think it might be worth it. Uh, for example, like this, Vexels is holding a 55% off for their plans. Uh, and, and for people that are not familiar with this, this is a, a, a graphics uh, service. So for example, like if you actually want uh, ready to use designs for merch or anything else, there's a, there's a lot of other services, of course. I use it mostly for like print ready uh, designs. Uh, so they're running they're running a sale there's actually a whole bunch of websites like I said that, that are running sales I think all American graphics a um, couple of others I'll, I'll probably organize something for you guys uh, a little better just to uh, to to go into that but I, I mean like I'm, I'm paying the full price for this which is uh, like for example I have this that which is 20 bucks I think it might be 29 I'm not sure so right now like these are amazing deals so anyways, don't don't miss out, uh, especially if you've been looking at at certain services. And then my suggestion is also uh, for you guys to to wait for around this time to sign up for a lot of these services, because uh, I mean, you know, 55 percent off is pretty nice. And I know the merch, uh, pretty merch was doing something like that uh, and, and a couple other websites. So anyways, that's out there. I, I do think that I have all these links uh, in my descriptions. But uh, but let's get to these uh, sales numbers. Uh, if if you've been watching any of the videos for for me, November is turning out to be somewhat of a regular month, maybe a little better than average. But that's it. That's that's where it's stopping. There's there there are a few days here and there where I'll get a, a spike, and then it goes back to normal. So nothing uh, significant has happened so far, especially in the U.S. Right now, as you can see, I'm sitting on one twenty-five, two thousand three hundred and twenty dollars in, in revenue, and three hundred and seventy-six dollars, uh, in royalties. Royalties per sale has actually dropped from something like three twenty to three dollars, and and I think it's because of the increased uh, pop sockets, and then also I have a bunch of products, uh, for example, like even even this kind of stuff like premium shirt, like I'm getting one forty-six. 221 for a standard shirt all that kind of stuff so royalties are actually pretty low for a lot of my uh, items as you can see here and that's that's because products are selling uh, at the price point when I was listing them to test out I, I I probably spent months of of listing products at a lower price uh, price point just to see for example if there would be a significant increase in sales and that didn't happen so now I'm you know I'm I don't want to really go back uh, and, and change those prices, especially for products that, you know, sell once a month or once every six months. If I do get any of those products that, that actually start selling regularly, that's when I would increase the, the price. But what I found uh, is that it didn't matter if, if I was selling something at $19.99 or $15.99. If the design was good, it was going to sell either way. My total sales this month, 233. So that's on track to get that uh, 300 that I'm always kind of going for. Germany here is uh, is doing pretty good, as you can see, 48. However, uh, I don't know if you guys remember the the one. I'll go back to this screen. The the one design that I was talking about that was selling uh, before the World Cup uh, started is is actually. Uh, stop selling as soon as the the World Cup started. So it's it's weird. Like it, it always brings me back. Like of course these big huge companies and like for example FIFA will have an influence on on Amazon and they're going to communicate and there's going to be certain restrictions. But it's just funny that like I was getting you know multiple sales every single day and then when actually like the World Cup kicks off, my my sales plummet. But again, I'm, I'm still getting, you know, different kinds of sales that different products are, are selling. So I'm kind of getting like almost regular sales everywhere. As you can see, like, of course, this is not regular. 
Uh, but but this I would consider regular, especially if we were to go back even further than the 17th. It's it's every single day that I'm getting sales. Uh, France still not much. Italy actually Italy recently I've I've started getting a few sales here and there, which is nice. Spain I believe is my worst uh, marketplace. And then J Japan, actually, in the last couple of days, I've I've been getting a few sales for about two weeks. I wasn't getting a lot of uh, activity, almost nothing. So that's that's nice for now. 233, and then if we're looking at uh, royalties, you know, I'm looking at six, seven hundred dollars already, which is kind of nice. And when we have a whole week to go um, this month, so that's that's pretty much it. I. Uh, I guess I, I'll, I'll spend a minute talking about this. Dealing with uh, Amazon through my uh, online store, fulfillment by, not fulfillment by Amazon, but fulfillment by merchant, and, uh, you know, performance issues. I've, I've talked about this and, and their new rating system. I'm starting to get convinced that, that they're using a similar, if not the same system for merch. It's just too bad that we don't have this information. I... Uh, I'd love to actually chat with somebody from Amazon or get some kind of information uh, from somebody that, that would know about that uh, because I'm actually very curious. And uh, I'm just wondering if you guys know, if, if anybody has heard any rumors or what your opinions are on that, because there's no way that, for example, uh, you know, rejections uh, don't hurt the health of our account somehow. Uh, or, or, or who knows, for example, breaking the policy uh, uh, for example, having like trademark trademark violations. Like I'm sure that there's a difference in in uh, having a trademark violation is is way more severe than than for example listing something, selecting a youth size by mistake and pushing a a product about weed, for example, uh, to youth size. It's like I'm I'm just saying there's got to be a difference in in how severe certain violations are and then for example for us to not think that there is some kind of a a performance scale uh i think at this point is is starting to sound a little silly just because i've seen how seriously they take it uh through the other stores through the other platforms that are not merch on demand or merch by amazon so even fulfillment by amazon or fulfillment by merchant your your online store i mean they, they take those things very very seriously i still consider their customer service to be the worst which is fine uh but but that's just kind of the the, the opinion that i'm for that i've formed over the last couple of uh weeks anyways i'll wrap it up here in the interest of time let me know what you guys think let me know how you guys are doing and i'll talk to you soon